e-bike controllers are expensive and those controllers are not repairable. If you have a burst motor e-bike, you may face some problems with the controller. I have changed the controller several times for my homemade electric bicycle. The controller can burn out anytime and those are not reliable. Many videos have been on YouTube for making controllers at home but they did not show riding tests. So today in this video I am trying to find out an alternative way for brushed e-bike controller which is cheaper than a regular bike controller and reliable. A regular controller has a PWM IC, a short key diode and main component is a MOSFET. Some transistors, capacitors and resistors. Unfortunately, in the maximum case, either MOSFET burnout or PWM IC is stop working. Till now, those components are not available in our country. It is a 15 ampere PWM DC motor controller. It is cheaper than a controller. It has an IRF 540N MOSFET which is easily available at the market. In my previous video, I have shown a detailed review of this controller. You can watch the video from the link in the description to know more about it. I have tested it with a 250W 24V PMDC motor. It is working with 250W motor but without load condition. So can I use it as an e-bike controller? The simple answer is no. But I have made some little changes on it and I hope now it can control the bike with a load. At first when I tired with it, my bicycle on road without any changes, the MOSFET burned out. After several tries with it, I added a big heat sink. I could not connect my e-bike throttle because the throttle's working voltage range is 0 to 4 volt. I can make a circuit for controlling with this throttle but for testing I have made this temporary speed control setup. It is a potentiometer that can control speed but it is connected via a switch. So when I push this switch and rotating this potentiometer then the bicycle speed increases. When I release this switch immediately motor power down. Now I am going to test it on road. Here is my temporary setup. I want to test just for if this controller works with load or burned out. I have removed my throttle. I am using a 24 volt 12 ampere lithium ion battery. 16 ampere switch for emergency cutout for the battery line. Here are two 15 ampere fuse, one on the controller circuit and another is the connected with the battery. You can see my controlling system which is not practical but enough for testing. And it is running. I am trying to get the maximum speed. So it is working as an e-bike controller. I think it needs some more changes and a big heat sink. The MOSFET is warming up but not overheating. Thank you for watching. See you soon with a new technical video.